In this video, we will create a Casper account and fund it on the Casper testnet. Before starting this video, ensure you have completed the previous Getting Started tutorial and you set up your development environment, including tools like CMake, Cargo, and Rust. You will also need the Casper client CLI tool to interact with the Casper network. The general account setup flow consists of first generating a unique public and private key pair that will identify your account to the network and second funding your account. On the testnet, we will do so by requesting tokens from a faucet test tool. Then we will select a node whose RPC port will be receiving the deploys coming from your account. When you create an account on the Casper blockchain, you can use either the Casper client tool or a block explorer to generate the cryptographic key pair that identifies and secures your account. Let's generate the account and keys using the command line client, which generates Edwards Curve's digital signature algorithm keys by default. In this folder, we see three files. The public key.pem is a PM encoded public key. The public key hex is a hexadecimal encoded string of the public key. The secret key.pm is a PM encoded secret key. The public key hex for ETSA keys starts with 01. To create keys commonly known as Ethereum or Bitcoin keys, follow these steps. Notice that the hexadecimal representation starts with 0, 02. To interact with the network, you will need two critical pieces of information the location of your account's secret key file and your account's hash. Responses from the node contain account hashes instead of the hexadecimal encoded public key. To view the account hash for a public key, you can use this option provided by the Casper client. Next, let's fund the account using the faucet on the testnet. Now let's make a note of a node that we can use to send deploys on the testnet. To send deploys to the node, we will need to specify the port to be quadruple 7. With this information in hand, check out the next video on session code, the simplest logic you can execute on a Casper network.